and you're home? Um, I am, yes, ma'am. I'm close to Bob. Why are you on him? Uh, my paperwork for my um, my bond said to do this appointment over Zoom. If you were in person, or if you were still in custody, sir, you need to make your way into the court into the courthouse. I why well, I, I don't have that capability at the moment. My my bond agent told me to report for Zoom for this morning for court. Can you hear me, file, please? In the prosecutor's office. Okay, I need to find it. Yeah, it's a pretrial. I don't know if it was recording. Uh, well, maybe. The Zoom ID, sir, was in the event you were in custody. If you were not in custody, you were to appear in person. If I'm posted bond, does that does that mean I'm not out in custody? Well, sir, you're out of the Wayne County Jail, correct? Correct. But I just don't understand uh, why why my bond agent had told me. To... I'm sorry. I just don't understand then why my bond uh, my bond company told me to report uh, over Zoom for this meeting. I don't know why your bond your bond. So you had a you had a. Um... A bail bondsman, post your bond? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I don't know why they told you that. So, because it shows, and I'll show you, it does show on Zoom, but that was an event you were in custody, sir. So you need to make your way here into court. I, I don't think I would make, I'm in a motel in Romulus, Michigan, and near the airport. I don't think I would make it in time by walking, with all due respect. Well, sir, then you need to find a ride. Ma'am, could you make any condolences and, and accept the fact that I am here for court today for my Zoom meeting? And I this is my only method for court today. Sir, you can contact an Uber, you can ask somebody for a ride, something of I that nature. I don't, I don't have that money at the moment. I am I am I'm I'm indigent, really. Sir, your court date is in person today. There's nothing more I could do, except well, you can do start, it. You can start making your way to court. I'm, I'm telling you, the amount of distance that it would take me to walk there, I wouldn't even be able to make there to, until eight, like seven or eight p.m. I'm over. I'm over 20, 20 miles away. Probably this is not twenty miles away, sir. Located, and that is where I have. I have no other option but to do this meeting via Zoom. I don't have any family members or friends that can help me out today. I was instructed to do this court date today at this time on Zoom, and I am here presenting myself in a reasonable manner. Can we please proceed? You are 14 miles away, sir. Not 20. So... The court's instructions were in person. Unless you're in custody, it's in person. You can't take a cab. You can't take a bus. Nothing. I have no money whatsoever at all. None. How are you paying for your hotel stay, sir? My family are paying for a week stay for me, and they're paying week to week. I haven't even ate in three days. I've been barely surviving, but I had to make sure that this appointment was done and I showed up to the best of my ability and here I am here. I'm, I'm even borrowing a phone from a stranger to operate this court date right now. Okay, sir. A stranger has allowed you to take their phone into a hotel room. Uh, you, can't, you can't get somebody to drop you off to court. No, ma'am. I don't. I can't. My I 
my only pa- my only family are my mom and my dad, and they're in their eighties, and my mother's in the hospital, and I can't get a hold of my father. My only other social support team are currently incarcerated, Your Honor. I'm just doing my best to survive and get through this. And and like I said, I was I was told by Bail My Tail Services, which is the bonding agency that I went through, that I am to report for court today over Zoom and they gave me the Zoom ID and the time to be here and present. And I am currently present. So your family members pay for you to stay at the hotel, but they won't pay for your ride to court. They gave me the basic necessities. Yes, I'm very lucky to have that. Okay, at 83 years old, uh, uh, United States Marine and his dying wife. Yes, I'm very fortunate to at least have that temporarily, and that was as best as I could do. Yes. I've already called my dad twice today. If you'd like, I can show for reverse the the, uh, the the camera somehow or take a screenshot and show you proof that I have made uh, made attempts to call my father this morning where I was not able to, to get a hold of him. And so the stranger's phone that you're supposedly using, you just, that person just let you bring their phone right out into your room. The, co- the, the clerk for the, for the motel is a very nice lady who... Who, who I have to see every day. I explained to her my situation and I said that I'm, you know, I'm going to be in the room for about 45 minutes to an hour. I asked her, uh, you know, if, 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 if I could at some point give her money for for it. And she said, that's not necessary. She goes, just handle your business and just bring it right back when you're done. Try contacting one of your family members to see if they'll order you an Uber to make your way already, to court. I already have, and they don't have the money. They didn't even have the money to give me a five dollar hot and ready last night when I asked them. I'm not, and I, I, this is really, I, this, this is really unfair of you because I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being what as, as, as professional and, 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 and respectful as possible in this manner. I, I, I'm telling you, I can't squeeze water from a rock. I'm here for court. I'm doing everything I said that I was going to be doing. Did you say that that's not fair of the court to require you to no. be in person? No, no, it's not fair of you and of this court to be harassing me to this level when I've explained my indigence. I'm showing up for court. I'm being as respectful as possible and answering all of your questions where you're countering me at every turn. I, and I'm not doing anything wrong. but being present for this pretrial operation so that I can try to move forward through this case. I have no other means there. Sir, let me clarify something for you. Your thought process that this is not fair of myself to require you to be in person is flawed because this court has absolutely every right to require your presence to be in person. And I and respect, and I respect that, that, but when... But when Please I'm under supervision from a bonding service Please and they tell me I'm supposed me. to be here over Zoom and I have everything set up that way. I said, please don't interrupt me. So I'll just mute you. How about that? I ind- I ordered you to be in person. So for you to stay, I, I, I don't know what you're saying, sir because I'm talking and you're trying to talk over me. So as I, you, I don't know who you're claiming that you spoke to because you said your mom's in the hospital and your dad didn't answer. So I don't know who you tried getting a ride from. Perhaps the nice clerk lady can find a ride for you. Mr. Brownlee, just so you're aware, you're muted. So I am just seeing your lips moving and I'm not hearing anything you're saying. I'm not going to hear anything you're saying because I'm going I to understand. handle another matter. I, I understand. You're, just kind of, another. you're doing everything. I'm going to, excuse me. Don't interrupt me. I'm handling another matter. You can contact somebody to try for another ride. I'm not going to say this again, Your Honor. I have nobody else to call. 
Sir, if, you, I don't if, think you're you're to, if this is your wish to bully me to 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 try to in your in, in your legal method to hold me up or or anything along the lines or use your court authority uh but you know to to just do whatever it is that you're doing in this moment other than handling my business with me and understanding and respecting the fact that my bond agency instructed me to be at this meeting over zoom today at this time which i am to the best of my ability and explaining my indigence in the manner, you know, for, for what you're asking, is impossible. Sir, Literally, you're telling me, court, that you're currently in a hotel room. Yes, ma'am. Behind you, it does not look like it's a hotel room. I have ever all of my possessions from my house here because I can't even go to my house. I literally brought had my family bring all of my possessions here. I and I'm planning on doing a month stay at this place. This is my current home. This is where I'm trying to feel comfortable and get my life together during this process. I understand that I you, you said that I'm to report in person, but yeah. your last court date, you did not specify anything along the lines on that transcript. I am I'm aware of that just as much as you are. And when I'm following my oh, order directly to the bonds agency and they've instructed me to be here over Zoom and I have that paperwork, then 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 clearly there's some sort of issue and discrepancy in between the, the bonding agency and the court. So even, be very clear. even even so including me, even stop stop. Stop stop right now. Stop right now. Let me be very clear. The bond agency's statement to you does not overrule this court's order. Let me be very clear on that. And there's no bullying going on. This court has ordered you to be in person. The Zoom ID was in the event that you were in custody. That Zoom ID was for the purposes of the Wayne County Jail. If your bond agent told you something different, I don't know what to tell you, sir. But to say that your bond agent um, ordered you one thing, uh, that overrules this court's order, you are mistaken. So, I know that you've said that you've contacted other people, but then you've also said that you only have your mom and your dad. You also said that your mom's in the hospital and your dad hasn't responded. So, I don't know who it is you're claiming. I never that you said that I contacted other people. I never said that I contacted other people. I never said, I never once. And don't. And that, sir, is why I'm not the going to lie. The to only people I have are my mother and father. And we're not going to play this little war game because you, you're putting words in my mouth. Do you understand me? That is why you will not be. First of all, I don't know who it is you think you're speaking to. No, I don't know Second who it is you think. I'm a human I, being just like you. you. I'm not a citizen just like you. you. No, I know. I you're, you are. Not like you will not be participating on Zoom because you don't know how to behave yourself. So he's being removed. And if he doesn't show up, then we're issuing a warrant. So all right, who's first? <laughs> 